If you've been eating 1200 calories and still can't lose weight, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from starving, constantly thinking about food, not making any progress, to getting lean and toned while eating way more and actually thriving. I know this because I spent years stuck on low calorie diets myself. Now I have a physique I feel amazing in and I didn't need to starve to get there. But to get there, I first had to realize this one harsh truth. If you were consistently eating 1200 calories, weight loss would happen. A lot of people think that when you eat too little for too long, you go into so called starvation mode. Basically the idea that your body starts storing fat for energy when it's not getting enough food. But that's not how the body actually works. Because when people are actually starved, they end up losing weight. How do we know this? Well, there's been this famous experiment called Minnesota Starvation Experiment where they quite literally starved people. Healthy young men were put on extremely low calorie diets and they lost weight. They didn't start storing fat for energy. They lost so much weight that you could literally see their bones, which is scary. It wasn't healthy or sustainable in any way, but the point is their bodies weren't holding on to fat. So that means that if you're eating 1200 calories and not losing weight, you're actually not eating 1200 calories. And here are the five most common reasons why that happens. First and most common reason is that you're underestimating your intake and overestimating your calorie burn. Studies show that when people track their intake, they usually underestimate their calories by 15 to 30%. That means that if you think you're eating 1200 calories, you might actually be eating 15 to 1600. And it's not just with food, because exercise is often overreported too. Basically people thinking that they burn more calories than they actually do. And it's so much easier to overestimate your calorie burn when fitness trackers literally do it for you. A Stanford study has shown that while fitness trackers are good at showing your heart rate, the calories burned are wildly inaccurate. In some cases, up to 90%. So if you have an Apple Watch and you tracked your workout, it may show you that you burned 500 calories during the workout, but in reality, it might have been 100. To make sure that you don't fall into this trap, don't use calories burn as a way to earn food. Instead, create your deficits through food, because when you calculate your TDE in online calculators, your activity is already accounted for in there. So you don't need to add extra activity you've done during the day. Also, be precise when tracking food. Keep in mind that it's only temporary while you're in fat loss phase, because this isn't about becoming obsessive about every little gram for the rest of your life. But the truth that you need to accept is that for calorie deficit to be successful, you're gonna make the most and best progress if you're being being accurate with it. That means getting a food scale and tracking everything, including sauces, oils, little bites of food here and there, because doing this in a deficit phase will foolproof your results. You can save so much time being precise, getting your results faster, and then going back to maintenance phase, which is so much easier to maintain in general. Now, reason number two why you're not losing weight on 1200 calories are the weekends. So, typical story. You're perfect during the week. You're eating your salads, you're doing your workouts, and finally you've made it through the week, Friday comes around, you go out to eat, have a drink, grab snacks afterwards, and just eat more because you're so exhausted from restricting yourself all week. Once that happened on Friday, it's so easy to feel like, I already messed up, I'll just start over Monday. So you go crazy Saturday and Sunday as well. Just like that, the deficit that you've been sticking so precisely to during the week is completely wiped out and you might be even over your calories. But the thing is that uncontrollable overeating is not your fault. It's not about willpower or having more discipline. It's literally a biological response to starvation. You don't realize this, but by setting your calorie deficit so low to 1200 calories, you're sabotaging your progress. Because sooner or later, on an extreme calorie restriction, you will end up overeating. Even if we go back to the Minnesota starvation experiment where they starved men, when participants were allowed to eat freely again, a lot of them experienced strong urges to eat more as their bodies tried to restore to their normal weight. So instead of trying to fight your body's biology, which is impossible in most cases, set a moderate calorie deficit that you can actually stick to without hating your life. Go to TD calculator and input your info. This should give you an amount of your maintenance and also suggest a calorie deficit amount for you. Track your weekly weight and aim to lose about half a pound to a pound a week. Now, moving on to the third reason. Let's say you're doing everything right. You're tracking precisely, you're not eating back calories burned and your weekends are perfect. Seems like you got everything right. So how can you still be not losing weight? The thing is, when your body is put under calorie restriction, it subconsciously starts burning less calories through daily movement. Research shows that when calorie intake drops, your body naturally conserves energy by reducing something called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. NEAT includes all the movements you do outside of the gym. And when it drops, it can look like walking less, sitting more, taking more naps, and even fidgeting less. Okay, but if it's subconscious, how do you even fix this? Well, there's two things you can do. First, just like I said in the second point, don't go to extremes. 
Set a moderate calorie deficit so your body still has energy for need. Second, you want to create a step target that keeps one of the need variables controlled. Research shows that increasing daily steps, even by a few thousand, can significantly raise how many calories you burn each day, even without adding any more workouts. For many people, adding an extra of two to 4,000 steps per day can mean burning hundreds more calories per week, just from walking. Okay, moving on to the next reason why 1,200 calories is not working. In this case, you're losing weight, but not the right kind. The scale weight might be going down, but when you look in the mirror, you don't like what you see. And that's so frustrating, because you're working so hard towards your goal, but the more you're losing, the less you like the way that you look. In this case, instead of looking lean and toned, your body is looking softer, flatter, or what a lot of people describe as skinny fat. This happens because 1200 calories is very extreme. Because it's very extreme, you end up losing muscle instead of fat. So the slower you go, the more fat loss you would lose instead of muscle, which is what we want to do. There's this study that compared two diets in resistance training individuals. One group followed an aggressive diet, losing about 1.5% of their body weight per week. The other followed a more moderate diet, losing about 0.7% of body weight per week, which is their recommended amount. Their results were really different. The slower weight loss group not only preserved muscle, they actually gained about 2% of lean mass on average. The faster weight loss group lost about 0.5 to 1% of lean mass because they were losing weight more quickly. This just shows that faster doesn't mean better. A moderate calorie deficit allows you to preserve or even in some cases, if you're a beginner, gain muscle. So you not only look better, you get that toned look. You also keep your basal metabolic rate high. That way, your body naturally burns more calories so you don't have to starve yourself to extreme points to keep losing weight. So to make sure that you're losing fat, not muscle, eat in a moderate calorie deficit with a high protein diet, about 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of your goal body weight. And prioritize strength training, about 2 to 5 times per week. And finally, fat loss phases shouldn't be endless. Pause your deficit every 12 to 14 weeks with diet break or maintenance phase. This supports recovery and makes sure that you not lose too much muscle. So by now you know that if you're not losing weight on 1200 calories, it's usually because you're underestimating your intake overestimating your calorie burn, overeating on the weekends, moving less without realizing it, or losing too much muscle. Which brings us to the fifth and final reason. The problem with eating 1200 calories is that it keeps you in the short-term diet mindset. I'm sure you know people who are always on a diet, starting on Monday, next week, or in the new year. And they look the same year after year. That's because setting such an extreme deficit just keeps you in the temporary mindset. You're just trying to survive the diet. You're counting down days when you're gonna live your normal life again. You're not enjoying the process, eating plain food, starving, and dreaming of the cheat meals you're gonna have when the diet is over. And that's exactly why it doesn't last. The real secret to being successful and if you master this, you're gonna have such an easy time in a calorie deficit, is making it not feel like a diet. So to actually do this in practice, you wanna keep your calories as high as possible while still losing weight. If you've never tracked calories before and you go into TDE and figure out your maintenance, I would encourage you to eat at your maintenance for a few weeks because personally, when I did that myself, I found that I was losing weight at my maintenance because I've never tracked calories before. And once you stop losing weight on your maintenance, you can slowly start decreasing your calories. The point is, try to go as high as possible. Don't go to the lowest number because as we already established, the faster results come doesn't mean it's gonna be better. Second, eat the food that you actually enjoy. That's the beauty of calorie tracking. You don't have to restrict your favorite snacks. A diet doesn't mean that you're never gonna eat tasty food again. You wanna include everything that you genuinely enjoy in moderation. And actually put effort into the meals that you eat day to day. Make a plan of food that you genuinely enjoy and look forward to eating every day. When I don't know what to make, I like to just look up on TikTok low calorie recipes or macro friendly recipes. There are a lot of people that figure out how to make healthy food delicious or make lower calories versions of your favorite recipes. That is the thing that makes it feel like you're not even dieting. Like sometimes I'm eating a meal that I've created and I'm like, wow, how can I be eating this and still be losing weight? But it generally works. Finally, make movement something that you genuinely look forward to. Don't push through HIIT classes if that's something that you hate. There are so many different types of exercises that you can do, so find something that you genuinely enjoy. And make the time that you're working out like an experience. Make a pre-workout drink, get dressed up, maybe go with your friends, enjoy the music that you're listening to. It's about the little things that makes you want to do it again. And if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, this sounds amazing, I want to do a calorie deficit that I'll actually enjoy, but this seems so hard to figure out. That's exactly where I can help. 
I work with clients one-on-one -on -one to help them achieve fat loss in a sustainable way with a plan that they actually love. If you're interested, I have a short application form link down below. So I hope this video helped you understand why 1200 calories don't work. Subscribe if you like science-backed fat loss content like this and check out the coaching application link down below if you need help setting this up for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.